On One No Noise AI allows you to selectively adjust the sharpening and noise in your scene to ensure the photo looks exactly how you envisioned it. With No Noise AI's powerful masking and blending tools, you can easily incorporate focus and sharpening into the detailed areas of your image while leaving the background or foreground soft and blurred. In this video, let's selectively apply noise reduction and sharpening to an image using On One No Noise AI. Inside of No Noise AI, let's select Open Photos. I'm just going to navigate to a noisy image here. I'll select Open. No Noise AI will open that image up and it will zoom into 100% so that we can see all of that noise reduction happening in real time. We can also preview that noise reduction with this preview bar with our original on the left and the noise reduction on the right. Because we're trying to capture this motion in action in a low light situation, we've had to increase that ISO to 3200. And we can really see the ISO noise in the background of the picture and also in his sleeves and his arms. But No Noise AI is doing a phenomenal job at just removing all of that noise while maintaining all of the original details and textures in the image. In these situations where we have a detailed subject and a soft background behind them, I typically like to mask in some sharpening and focus into the subject and then leave the background nice and soft and even add in a little bit of noise just to make it a bit more blurred and soft. To selectively apply that noise reduction and sharpening, let's just head over here to our details area for this original layer that we're working on. With this original layer, let's bring on that sharpening and that detail into our subject. We can then duplicate that layer and then we can remove that sharpening away from the backdrop and leave it nice and soft. So let's go in here to our details and I'm just going to enhance that detail by pulling up on the enhanced detail slider all the way. And then I'm going to pull up on the sharpening all the way as well. And we can see that by zooming in a little bit to the scene, it's really incorporating a lot more detail into those softer areas where that noise and grain is really prominent. Now let's head over here and let's apply those details. That's going to lock the details in and now I can modify the layers pane here. Let's just duplicate this picture noise layer by selecting this duplicate icon here. And I'm just going to double click the title of this duplicate layer to rename it and let's rename it background. We're going to be modifying this background layer to ensure that we have a nice soft background behind our focused picture. So let's modify these background details by selecting this adjust button. Now in our background layer, we don't want all of that sharpening and detail like we had in the picture noise layer. So let's pull back on that enhanced detail slider all the way. Let's pull back on that sharpening all the way. And I'm actually going to leave just a little bit of noise in the scene in this background to ensure it's nice and soft behind our picture. Now let's head over here to the details pane. Let's apply these details to lock those in. And now it's all about selectively applying those details and that noise. Let's head up to our background layer here. I'm going to select the masking icon. Remember in masking, white reveals and black conceals. So if we look at our mask view here, it's entirely white, meaning it's revealing this entire layer onto our scene. Well, we need to paint away this layer from our picture here so that we can reveal this picture noise layer from beneath it. So let's ensure that our masking brush is selected. We can grab that by hitting B on our keyboards and let's head up to our top tool modifier bar and let's make sure our mode is set to paint out. You can also modify the mode with shift and X on your keyboard. Let's make our size a bit larger, maybe around 150 or so. You can also modify the brush size with the bracket keys on your keyboard. The right bracket will increase the size and the left bracket will decrease the size. Let's make sure that the feathering, opacity, and flow are all at 100 to leave us with a nice soft brush edge that paints away the entirety of whatever we're trying to paint away. And now we can just paint over our picture here. And you can see it starts to reveal those details 
that we incorporated into that original layer we were working on. So now if we take a look at our mask view, we can see we have a nice little outline of our picture. So let's go back to the photograph here and let's just zoom in a little bit more. So if we turn this background layer off and on now, you can see it does a great job of softening up that background, bringing in a little bit of that noise back and just ensuring that the subject, the picture in the scene is really popping out and we have a little bit more depth in our scene. And now let's take a look at the original photograph and our denoised image. That's how to selectively apply some noise reduction and detail into your imagery using On One No Noise AI. To learn more about On One No Noise AI or other On One editing products, head over to our website at www.onone.com.